Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to your reading. This will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below where you can get your reading. It's just, you can choose a 30 minute or a one hour phone call. Um, yeah, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Virgo, we're gonna take a look at the energy, past, present, and future of the person you may be thinking of or who you are listening to this reading for. Remember, it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest, okay. All right, all right, give me just a second here. Um, so the past, Ten of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Leo energy, and we have um, Virgo, Tarks, Capricorn, male or female, okay? All right, <coughs> excuse me, I have to like, there's so much steam on my glasses, I can't see. All right, let's see, let's take a look at the past energy. All right, engagement. Your love life was ascending to a higher level of commitment, true love, the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody here in the past. Um, engagement was on the table or possibility to, you know, move things forward in a very healthy way. Um, I feel like your person um, was with very withholding of their emotions like they had deep emotions and um this person kind of comes across here to me like in the past very supportive nurturing type of person um a lot of betrayal okay this person the ten of swords it's just like hitting rock bottom i think they kind of surrender to the fact that you are their true love i feel like that was yesterday's reading as well um, but that high priestess energy withholding of the emotions, yeah, it's very strange going within, uh, some of you may have been in a process, maybe they proposed, um, and you were going to get engaged and then this person dropped off the face of the, the earth in a lot of ways. Um, but if it was an engagement, then for some of you, like the connection in the past was kind of ascending to a, a, another level of your relationship but it feels like this person um gosh it's like they surrender to the fact that like you're their true love but they pulled back their energy let's take a look at this ten of swords king of swords and the high priestess yeah nine of wands boundaries withdraw and the queen of pentacles okay for some of you this person had a choice between you and somebody else, okay? Um, King of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Hmm. Uh, you could have been connected to another person and your other person, maybe for some of you threatened your person to stay away. That's just a very strange message that I just got here. Um, but it feels like, hmm. it's like, your person just kind of was they may have agreed to go into a higher level of commitment or a romantic relationship yet at the same time holding back withdrawing keeping their emotions within okay nine of wands energy putting up these strong boundaries with you why it's weird. It's like they wanted it. Now let's see. We have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Like they definitely feel like you were a good match, you know. Some of you this could have been a same sex relationship, but they definitely felt like there was a good match. One was more emotional or deep with their emotions and the other was more practical and uh resourceful type of a person. Okay? That could have been like playing out but i feel like oh ten of swords here okay that's twice all right <clears throat> i want to pull a card for this queen of cups that just flipped out five of cups okay wow 
Very strange. Your person has a lot of sadness and grief. They may have been abandoned by someone in their past <clears throat> that kept them from, you know, opening up their true emotions towards you or to be expressive of their love and their emotions towards you. They have a lot of sadness. Like the majority, like what they feel the most is grief. They have a lot of grief and sadness. Um... And for some of you, this person wanted to come forward with you or move things forward with you, but withheld their emotions. They had a lot of fear. They couldn't tell you that they were fearful. So they may have um, tried to set it up that you would be the one to break up with them or you would be the one to end it, which is very bizarre. Very, very bizarre behavior. But I do feel there that this, like, it was on, like, you were on the track you know, the gas was filled up, the lights were on, foot was on the pedal, it was like ready to go, but this person also had a foot on the brake, right, kind of hovering over the brake. It's almost as if like, they knew that they wanted to move forward, but they also knew that they better keep their foot steady and put the brakes on something just in case it falls out. And sometimes that break could have just been, well, I'll give them the go ahead, but I'm also going to put a block there because I feel like your person really didn't feel like they could, it's like they wanted it, but they didn't feel like they were capable of giving you what they want, what you wanted. Okay. So in the present reconciliation, this could be the one. Okay. Um, Interestingly enough, um, your person here is waiting. Wow, they're in a waiting position. And the Six of Swords, uh, this could be waiting for travel plans or waiting for um, restrictions to lift or they're waiting um, for the right time to, or waiting for you to come or overcome some fears. Reconciliation, this could be the one. I feel like your person wants to try to reconcile with you. Uh, try to make something work but we also have the seven of cups so mm, they can't commit to anything just yet okay but they do feel like you are uh, you know the romantic partner you are the one for them there isn't like this person is waiting for you to come back to them virgo oh, my goodness they don't know if you will maybe you ghosted them or you just pulled your energy back. Let's take a look at the Two of Wands. Yep. Let's take a look at the Six of Swords. They're hope they're hoping that you will like have a different perspective on them or in the relationship. Um they they they're sitting in this position of feeling abandoned. Or <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it's your fault. I'm not saying that it's your fault, but I feel like they're in this position of like they believe that you're just gone temporarily and you guys will reconcile. Okay. Seven of Swords over the Seven of Cups. Sevens represent inner awareness. <clears throat> Your person um, is taking a look at any kind of deceit or betrayal that they may have presented uh, or th them running away. Uh, yeah, they definitely had commitment issues and they ran away from that. And I feel like they are taking a look at that. I don't I don't feel like it's predictive that they're going to run away, but they may also feel like you ran away. So Piscean energy here as well. And, and I just feel like with this hangman, your person is really starting to see things differently. They know they need to face their fears and overcome, um, you know, obstacles or, you know, there's a, a transition that needs to be made in order for you guys to make something work. There has to be like, I don't know if it's relocation or coming together. Um, these are travel cards. So you guys could be at a distance to each other. There has to be, I feel like your person wants you to come towards them or they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. There's definitely reconciliation happening here. They want recon They want to try to come back together because you're the one for them. Virgo, look, waiting for the right time, the right opportunity. Okay, so going forward, traction and soulmate. Oh, wow. 
Okay. So we have the sun card here. Um, that's Leo energy. So going forward, um, something's coming out into the public or someone or someone's going public or uh, there's an energy here of like out into the open celebration, happiness, joy, fulfillment. <gasps> the sun on the sun. Oh my goodness. This is double happiness here. Let me see. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Mm, tower moment. You know what, Virgo? I feel like your person is um, coming to be with you. Now we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, whoever your person is, it truly doesn't matter, but I'm telling you, this tower moment, this is like coming out of the blue like a total upheaval let's take a look at the sun again another card for the sun oh king of pentacles book ending here and the king of cups underneath okay your person whoever they are could be a water sign has been thinking about this and really contemplating the best course of action what's the tower here for so we have scorpio um Again, we have uh, pretty much all the signs. We, you have all the signs on the table here. Why is the tower here? Oh, two of cups. Reuniting, coming together, coming into agreement. That's what I was saying. This person, you know, sitting here, checking their emotions, how they feel. I feel like they're coming to reconcile with you. And um, there's a lot of positive energy regarding finances as well or becoming more stable. Um you, Virgo, I feel like you really represent a very passionate, fiery, bold energy. You will be representing that going forward. And your person, I feel like they represent more of like a very business-minded type of a person, you know, um, very solid. Uh, some, maybe somebody who's like an investor or someone who works with money or starts businesses. It's just very practical, that type of an energy. But um, yeah, there's like this, I feel like your person is, is going to, this feels like relocation, like coming together, signing contracts together, uh, moving in together. Um, somebody may be losing a home. There might be like an earthquake or some fires or a lightning strike or something. And uh, it could be your person where they live or something comes up along those lines. Uh, or maybe it already happened and now it's like complete. The cycle is complete. And I just feel like an energy of moving in together. You know, like everything coming full circle. I don't know what's going on with this person. I don't know. They, they somehow get over these fears. Right? They get over these fears. Let's take a look and see what the love energy is here. The love messages with this person. What they would tell you, Virgo. Oops. Sorry. These I have like such big cards here forgiveness forgiving yourself and another will help you guys move forward okay they want to tell you how they feel and they definitely will be seeking your your forgiveness for something that they've done in the past or making you break up with them or leaving you with no choice or having something end there's definitely an energy like they're going to talk to you about that they hope that you will forgive them for their role in things um we will be together again yep that's coming forward here for you virgo yep you guys are going to be together again they're secretly longing for you yearning <laughs> they have been you were the best thing in their life they know they were careless with you virgo and they want to be more than friends so if you guys are friends right now or just casual acquaintances, no, this person, they definitely want more with that. I left you before you could leave me, see? And that probably was what instigated you to just say, uh, that's it, I'm done, okay? Um, maybe you ended something with them in the past or just didn't move forward. For some of you, um, you could still be together, but just in a different way. Okay, but it seems like that's not enough for them because they feel like you are their true love. Oh, I know that I crossed the line with you. Virgo, for some of you, your person either said or did something at some point that was like way out of character and it just really 
set you back or rocked you in a totally different way that was just didn't feel comfortable um but the here and now your true love is already part of your life so if you're not talking to this person you will be soon i feel like they're gonna try to you know um reconcile with you coming up perhaps this week you know um or the rest of maybe over the weekend let's get some charms and see what other messages there are for you okay so we have a sailboat okay that's interesting that feels very much like a travel energy or somebody who owns a boat or you're on a boat or you sail on a boat um look relocation and travel here okay with this sailboat or somebody's somebody has um maybe you're looking at a picture of a boat right now and then we also have the infinity symbol Okay, so this is like coming full circle here. Things coming into balance. Let's get another. Maybe you have a tattoo of an infinity or you drive an infinity. Um, we have the words infinity. Somebody has infinity on a boat. <laughs> I don't know. If that's. It just feels like that sailboat is like, or you, somebody lives near water or like a, a port or like a beach or a yacht club or there's a yacht or something okay so we have a monkey and that immediately told me somebody was born in the year 1968 maybe 1957 um or fifth or 56 or um 80 maybe 1981 could be and then we also have a b okay there's a bee. There's a bee attached to somebody. A bee. They're allergic to like bees or pollen. There's a like allergy, pollen allergy, or somebody. Um, <laughs> now I know, I'm not necessarily sure that I'm getting this as an intuitive message, but somebody does crypto or something. There's. Um, I, I don't know how that would be coming from that, but I'm also picking up, uh, my gosh, honey, somebody always called you honey, or you called somebody honey, you know, or when you talked, there was always like, hey, honey, or boo, called you boo, or Pooh bear, just heard Pooh bear, let's get one more okay we've got palm tree okay so we got a sailboat and a palm tree maybe somebody's taking a trip tropics tropics or somebody lives near where there's boats or palm trees it could be you it could be your person um look at that and i'm also seeing it could be around christmas somebody decorates palm trees with christmas lights now i don't live in an area where there's palm trees i've never seen a palm tree with christmas lights but i've seen it on tv and in movies and stuff so you know I guess that's something some people do in certain parts of the world where there's palm trees. <laughs> I, you know, I've seen it, and we don't have palm trees where I live, so uh, it's not familiar to me. Um, but I just had that image all of a sudden. Like I see palm trees around a house and tropical plants, and then I see like around the holidays um, for those who celebrate the Christmas time. There's Christmas lights all <laughs> around a house or something. You know, um, or maybe you guys met somewhere in that area, or, or you're going somewhere in that area, or you were together somewhere where there was palm trees and we're on a boat or somewhere near there. Um, I'm going to leave the comments open. So if you want to comment, if any of that resonates for you. Um, also, it was just hearing um, your person was carrying around like a monkey on their back for a really long time. And that's kind of like a, a, a saying, the monkey on the back. And I feel like your person was able to like get rid of that monkey on their back. I don't know exactly. You know, it's symbolic. It's a saying. And I don't know. It could have been an addiction or something toxic. Um, so that might have been released also. And that could be the reason for some kind of reconciliation here. Okay, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your message there. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, click like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And if you want a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, you guys. See ya.